Well, it has become fashionable to attribute Peter Dunn's rise to the worm. It could be, however, that uh, quite simply that after years of Peter Dunn talking, people wanted suddenly to listen. Whatever it was, a fortnight ago, Peter Dunn was likely to win his seat. Yes, you know, how are you? Again, and uh, he was likely to be lonely Joe for another term. And the next thing you know, of course, he wins his seat with a thumping majority and takes eight other MPs into the House with him. United Future now is a caucus of nine. And while a flamboyant Mr. Peters is grumping off to the side, Mr. Dunn is right in there with a hand to play. So who is this Peter Dunn? And who are those going in there with him? Maramina Roderick tracks the United Future's astonishing of United Future leaders astonishing 48 hours the tide has finally turned for Peter Dunn and his family they've been remarkably supportive over the years though they're great and we'll we'll just work our way quietly through it and um, take it as it comes I expect one is never really prepared the boys have both been born into politics they were both born after Peter became a member of Parliament and if you ask them that question, they'll tell you what's life like without politics, because they've never known. He's worked for it. I mean, you have to see how tired he's been, like the whole election campaign, because he's been out over the whole country, talking to people over the whole country. So, I mean, he, he, he's earned it. I've paid my dues, time after time. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good evening. That'll be a great evening. <laughs> Oh, I was thinking about uh, just the day ahead. I was thinking about this being that sort of bit you start to dread. You know, you lose control of the electoral process at that point when you're putting your vote in the box and everyone else is doing the same and you're wondering, no matter how you might feel, you wonder about the outcome. I might change my mind. <laughs> part of you saying, look, just relax, the polls are OK, it's all going to come to fruition. Another part of you says, but what if it goes wrong? How do I face the people I've worked with? How do I face the public? Is that United on nine seats? Have they got nine? Nine seats? Exhilaration. I couldn't believe it. I was just wrapped. Do a thumbs up. Hi, Jenny. Hi, we're so proud of you. Great. What are we on? Nine? Yeah, nine. Yeah. Oh, well done. Well done. Isn't that fantastic? You're about to go in there. I think so, yes. What's going through your mind at the moment? Oh, I'm just looking forward to seeing them, looking forward to meeting them because it's just been phenomenal. Mark, I'm freezing. What are we doing? the wilderness into the lion's den. It's been a long and lonely road at times. In 18 years of politics, Peter Dunn has never been a media magnet. No. You're no longer a one-man band. Absolutely not. No, from zero to hero, from one MP to nine. Congratulations, but who is Murray Smith? Well, I'm a lawyer, I'm 49, I live in Petonius. You're very hard to hear, but, but, but things are looking very good and we're just absolutely wrapped with the whole result. You now start thinking about my legal practice because I've got to somehow dispose of that. You're just about me to know. Yeah, I can't, I can't hear anything. Oh, that's better, that's better, that's better. And punters like the sound of Dunn. It was on the Homes Leaders debate two weeks ago that he came out of nowhere, conquered the worm and started climbing up the poles. The worm, worm, my organic friend. <laughs> well, thank you, and um, I look forward to yeah. keeping in touch. Okay. It's just great. Take it easy. Lovely to see you here, Jeffrey. Nice thank you. Fun. Thanks. Oh, that's a nice bonus. Yeah. yeah. Here at the backbencher bar, where Wellington feasts on politicians. Lila, able to make the cut. She didn't do it, did she? Dunn wasn't even an entree. Yeah. Where's Peter Dunn? Peter Dunn. He'll be on the. Oh. I should have looked this up, shouldn't I? Dunn's got bigger fish to fry now. He needs to ensure his new MPs aren't led to the slaughter. Great, thank you. How are your new MPs going to deal with the beer pit of politics? We're going to put them through a rigorous training course, um, using a few experts who've been there before to... What, to abuse them? Or? Something like that, and get them, get them used to the idea. Uh, I think that the, these are people who will, once they find their feet, do remarkably well. And uh, over the next few weeks, we'll be getting them ready for that. So it was an extraordinary story that of United Future and Peter Dunn, wasn't it? And um, in a fortnight, uh, I mean, this turnaround was extraordinary. He was going in with one 
seat. The next is in there with a the caucus of nine, and it must be surely a turnaround unprecedented in New Zealand political history. In, uh, uh, in, in our story earlier about um, Saturday night... Don't...